and thanks for checking out the video. With this footage, we'll introduce our new mech action game, Armored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon. We hope it gives you an idea of this title's mood and gameplay. In a future where interstellar travel is commonplace, our story begins in a distant star system on the fictional planet Rubicon 3. Our protagonist, an independent mercenary, is smuggled into Rubicon in search of a mysterious new substance known as coral. Your position is grid 135. Off target, but within permissible range. There's a catapult ahead. Use it to close the gap. Huge multi-layered stages will let players make the most of their AC's exceptional movement and attack capabilities. at your disposal, used for both traversal and combat. Did you hear anything about what the corps are up to? Yeah, they'll be coming soon. They got us on the run. We're being attacked! Take full advantage of your AC's mobility to freely navigate the environment. Use boost to take the fight to the air, extending combat dimensions beyond the 2D plane. Is that an independent? Destroy it! You're outnumbered, 621. Use your missiles. Vertical catapults to gain even more altitude and launch into the action from above. Against tougher enemies, Deal impact damage to their attitude control system to temporarily put them out of action. This is called stagger. Any attack received in this state is considered a direct hit, dealing heavy damage. A 
assembly lets you exchange various parts of your AC at will, including weapons, frame parts such as the head and core, and internal parts for power management. Assembling an AC to fit your own playstyle and strategy is crucial to success. Got a job for you, 621. This one's a request from the Archivist Group. Raven, this request comes from Schneider, an Archivist subsidiary. The mission will take place in the Bona Dea dunes of Western Bellius. Our coral investigation there is being blocked by the Strider, a Rubicon Liberation Front mining ship. You are to destroy it. The Strider is a mobile resource base that was extensively weaponized by the Liberation Front. Call it the crowning glory of their efforts to militarize into an anti-corporate force. Your attack will focus on the Eye, a giant laser cannon connected directly to the main generator. It's protected by a shield, which is powered by auxiliary sub-generators. These should be your first targets. This concludes the briefing. Good luck. Time for a little self-promotion, 621. Smash the Strider, and Archibus HQ will be sure to remember your name. Main system, activating combat mode. Commence mission. First, get through all that dust and make contact with the Strider. Here, we're up against an enormous weapon that eclipses our AC in size. Objectives will range from protecting targets and information gathering to the annihilation of enemy forces. 50%.
dogs must I kill before you learn. Blood. I hear you make fine hounds with the right training. Shane will have to die here. Two repair kits remaining. As your campaign progresses, you'll face a number of dangerous situations and often be pitted against rival AC pilots in bitter duels. Keep the pressure up in these intense battles. Don't give the enemy a chance at victory. Formidable boss encounters also await you at the end of certain missions. These fights are fast and aggressive, presenting a challenge for even the impossibly powerful AC. By observing the enemy's movement and tells, the player can learn as the battle unfolds. And a good commander assembly will often provide the first step to overcoming even the most daunting foes. We invite players to take on this one for themselves and see what else awaits. Thank you for watching. That concludes our introduction to Armored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon. We appreciate your continued support and look forward to seeing you at launch.